difficult to get a wood shim to taper from nothing to a quarter inch over 55 inches. I'll use this heavy peel and stick membrane to get the job done. I'll show you how. And my level tells me that the subfloor where the door is going to sit is out of level. And to make that sill level, I've got to go from nothing to just a little bit more than a quarter inch over 55 inches. I've got a roll of heavy peel and stick membrane like an ice and water shield. And this stuff mics out at just about a sixteenth of an inch. With a straight edge and a utility knife, I can cut out even strips of this peel and stick to use to build up for shimming the door threshold. By stacking up pieces here where the shim needs to be the greatest, I put down four layers which makes my bubble spot on. Since it's 55 inches approximately across the opening, I decided to use 11 inch pieces to get the build up. So I start with 11, a 22, a 33, a 44, and then a 55 to go all the way across the opening. The first four layers will do the build up and the, the fifth layer will be just to get a consistent surface across the opening. I just build these up here. A little cool out so the peel and stick isn't actually sticking. So it's just peel membrane today, not peel and stick. This membrane is dense enough that it'll provide more than adequate support for the threshold of the door. Since this isn't very sticky today, I'm going to assist it with a few staples. The stick comes 36 inches wide, so to get the longer layers, just adding a couple together. I'll just put pieces end to end. There's the fourth layer. Do a double check and bubble is spot on. I'm going from the plywood subfloor over to four layers. It's perfectly level. So I'm just going to add the fifth layer to get a consistent surface all the way across. You know how that works. My gun ran out of bullets. Just wait till I talk to the guy that used this stapler last and ran me short of bullets. Oh wait. He's actually a pretty nice hard working guy. I guess I understand. He was busy. Didn't reload the gun when he was done with it. I'll try to forgive him. First time it warms up this will be one solid shim. Spot on level and a nice even taper over 55 inches with this build up of layers here. I'm confident that the door will sit level and true for as long as it needs to. With the subfloor shim nice and level, it's time to apply a bead of sealant on the edge and set the door frame. By cutting the tip with this reverse V notch in it, I can easily lay a plump bead of sealant at the door's edge.
the door will swing nice and true and the threshold will be bug free and proud. Nice and solid, perfectly level, just like it ought to be.